the second deal that we um, we've closed the deal as far as acquiring the house. We have this house, and we're very excited about it because uh, I had had in my day, I had 45 properties uh, that. Um, I, I even have a story in the book how I made a million dollars on one deal, nothing down. I'm the nothing down queen. I have to do these things, nothing down, right? So, but the nothing down strategy using notes is the most beautiful. Mwah! I've, I just, that's why I have to rewrite the book. I have to say, I forgot and left out of the book the most important, beautiful nothing down strategy you ever saw in your life. So let me tell you about this one. The, we have a realtor on our team. Her name is Shelly. And uh, she's also a general contractor, and she had finished the remodel on this house, and she did, the, she did an amazing job. Everything was first rate, first rate. And now the seller wants to do seller financing because when he, he had it sold a month before we bought it for $165, and uh, the appraisal didn't go through. It was $8,000 less than what $165. Because in Florida, the, it's such a seller's market that the recorder's office can't keep up with what's sold, so it didn't have on the county records, all the activity that's actually taken place. If you look on the MLS and go through a realtor, you can see what actually sold. But the county recorder doesn't show it yet. So the, it appraised $8,000 and the buyer walked because they thought they were being tricked. They thought they were paying too high a price. They didn't understand that, that the market was like that. So now the seller says, well, if, if I can't get it to appraise what I want, I'm going to have to do seller financing. It really is his only option. And frankly, it's his better option if you, want, if you want, hang out there with me. Come on, little baby. Come on, you can do it. There we go. So we offer him 5000 more than the deal that fell through because we know what the market's doing. And in, in my world, in real estate investing, if you can get terms, you give the guy the price he wants. In fact, I'll give a guy more than the price he wants if he'll give me terms that I really like, right? So sometimes you get terms and price, but this, in this case, he wanted his 165 I said, well, how about I give you 170 And he was like, hmm. <laughs> yeah, okay. And so we went to dinner, and I didn't say much. I just uh, was trying to follow what Donna's teaching me, and I just found out what he needed. And I, I asked him if he needed uh, payments. He says, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm set. I said, well, do you need a lump of cash? He says, no, I've got lots of money. I'm thinking, well, why is he? Well, what, you know? I said, well, what is it that you'd like to do with this house? And he said, well, I'm not really sure. I said, well, how about this? You're, you're not sure. Let me see if I could outline some scenarios. So we offered him the, the higher price, and then we showed him. We write the sale, and the MLS has an addendum. Now, the MLS knows about seller financing. Uh, in Florida, it's called the FAR bar. That's the realtor's contract. And the, the FAR bar contract has an addendum just specifically for seller financing. So we just filled out the addendum. He gives us 100% financing. 100% financing. Why would he do that? No, it wasn't because he didn't care. He gave it to us at 4.25%, which is basically really good rates, right? That's almost like what you'd go if you get a, at a bank. Amortized over 30 years with a seven and a half year balloon and payments of 810 principal and interest. We still have to pay the taxes and then the insurance. Well, why would he do that? Because we found a note buyer who will buy 84 payments and give him $35,000 cash at closing. So he's going to walk away then the seller is going to receive the balloon. He didn't care about waiting seven and a half years for his balloon. He's fine with that because, like I said, he doesn't care that much. But he did want 35. He wanted, he wanted, finally he came up and he said, well, I'd like to get $35,000 out of it. So I call up the note buyer and I say, he wants $35,000. Can you make an offer like that? And he said, yes, I can. So the seller receives $35,000 plus the amount on the amortization schedule at the time of the balloon payment. Whenever I pay, whenever we pay the balloon payment, because hopefully we won't wait seven and a half years, because I'm going to put somebody in the house who I'm going to put a balloon in five years. So I'm hoping I'm going to pay that balloon off two and a half years early. Everybody's going to be happy. Everybody's going to be happy. So. Yeah, you want me to do it? So his total profit now is not 170. His total profit is 191. That's more than he was asking. And in the offer, it outlined that. So do you think he liked that offer? Yeah. 
He's going to make more than he dreamed he would make on this house. He was, he was satisfied with 165. Now he's going to make 191. Awesome. Is that true? Do you want to? Why don't you come up with a mic, the hand mic, so that everybody can hear and we have it on video? The go mic get a, is go back get a mic. There. Grab the mic on the way back. Go back a screen. Yes. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. So we owe him $170,000. On 100% financing. And don't stand in the light. Scoot over so it's not shining on you. Yes, okay. that helps. <laughs> and, but now he wants $35,000. So we get a note for $35,000, which is how many payments? 84 payments that the note buyer is now going to receive at 4.25% interest. And the seller now is going to collect the remainder of it after those 84 payments, he's going to collect the balloon, basically. He's going to collect a big lump sum for what's remaining on the house. You got, you, I'm, I'm so confused. You, you got the house. You got physical possession of the house. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And then, and, and you got, you got a note to the seller, right? Correct. You right. bought the you house. The mortgage, well, the, the, mortgage, the right? seller actually went, we arranged it, but the seller actually got the note from the note buyer because he he owns it. But you bought the house and you did you sign on the promissory note? Yes. Okay. So this is I am going to show you this exact deal all laid out in a PowerPoint, which I don't think that I showed in Tampa. No, you we no no we had not it's, learned it's this. It's the exact yet. deal that everybody says, oh you can't do that. They just did it. On their own. Okay. So <laughs> so it, tell me if, if I've got this right that you found this house that you wanted to buy and and you since he would not lend he he carried back a note he carried back a he note he carried back the note 100% to us yes and so you owe him 170 $170,000 but he needs cash now so you found an investor who would buy 84 monthly payments and give him $35,000 for those uh, 84 payments yes Okay, yes. and and then so you're going to make 84 payments to this new investor, mm -hmm. and then after that investor gets paid off, the rest of them go back to the seller. That's so right. So he gets to Correct. pick up the rest. Yeah. So but we, where but where do you think we make our money? We're going to have, we're, we're, I'm, I'm taking phone calls all weekend on, <laughs> on putting a, I'm not going to just do a renter. I'm going to do rent to own. I'm going to do rent to own. Right, like a, le a lease option Pardon? or uh, owner finance is what we're going to do. She's going to talk about wraps shortly. We're either going to do a wrap where we will have somebody where we're doing seller financing or we're going to do a rent to own because a rent to own pa uh, option payment could be almost as much as a seller financing payment. We don't really care. But in either instance, we're going to write it because they're going to pay it off at five, five years. I just found out about how to pop a balloon, though, so I so I have to think about that. <laughs> you did a fabulous, fabulous job. <laughs> absolutely, that, that is a great, great thing. Would you like for me to tell you how you could have made it better? Yeah. Instead of selling 84 payments, if you had sold maybe 100 payments, right. you guys could have walked out away with cash in your pocket. Well, he actually told us that later. Um, this deal is dependent upon finding a person who is willing to buy an unseasoned yes. note because it's not there's no seasoning, right? But the but the note buyer also knows us and he knows our integrity and he's kind of basing his purchase, I think, mm -hmm. on our uh, on he's he's betting on us. He thinks we're gonna. Mm -hmm. make it good mm -hmm. right but he did say there were other ways that we could do it better in the future but you did phenomenal I am amazed that you put this all together and I hadn't even given this presentation yet <laughs> <laughs> so it's perfect well it was just being ignorant I mean you have to just be willing to not know I mean here I am I'm this guru and people expect me to know the answers I, I have to tell you I if I don't know something I'm gonna tell you I don't know and I cannot go around acting like a smarty pants especially after losing almost everything in the downturn so I can't really uphold myself and say oh yeah I'm really smart because 
every day I'm learning, every day in this class, I've learned some, some fantastic new stuff that I never knew after 27 years of investing. I've learned so much already this weekend. We're only 50% 50 way, 50 awesome. of the way through it, you know? So it, it was dependent upon saying to the note buyer, I don't know what I'm doing. Could you help me here? And that's how we did it, just by, I mean, it's just a girl thing. I don't know how to do it. Could you help me? <laughs> he's going for it completely, completely. <laughs> doesn't it? And he's a really, really cute guy, and Gladys, and like, okay, I, I, she, I think she had something to do with it. <laughs> so was that, uh, it, it was him helping us. It, I mean, I think that nice note buyers, when you find nice note buyers, yes. what a great thing. Yeah. Like Donna. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. You did terrific. Or is your... Is that not working? Tell me if you want me to. The guy is going to season the note for a year. Point it over here. The guy is going to season the note for a year, and then he's going to resell it as a as a not a reperforming because it was always performing, if, so assuming we pay the payments. But it's now it'll be a seasoned note. It'll be seasoned, yes. and he'll sell it for much yes. more. And so we bought the property completely nothing down, no money out of our pocket. Our profit comes from the person who does the rent to own. We didn't make a profit at the closing. We make our profit because we're smart and know how to get a rent to own tenant or a, a buyer into the property. So that's where our profit is going to come come from. So. Well, we're getting the difference. He has to pay the note, and that's going to be at four and a quarter, and then we're probably going to charge him 6% interest or something. So there's going to be like a $200 extra there for us, plus his option payment or down payment, whatever he's going to make. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Exactly. That's our story. So we made money. We have a big happy face with thumbs up. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that. That was great. That was really, really good.